Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget. I'm really nervous right now that this is not in focus, but due to me dropping my camera for the millionth time, I have to film on this older camera. Glad I saved it. And so now I need to save up like $500 for a new camera. So anyway, hopefully I'm in focus. But today's video is all about makeup and cleaning my brushes. I'm on the hunt because I consistently am not consistent about washing my makeup brushes. I have like a little mat that has all the different grooves on it and I'm supposed to just like hold it and you know do the whole like use a makeup cleaner and brush it and then wet it whatever I also have one that can go in my sink something about it is just the most annoying frustrating experience ever and that's probably why I don't wash my brushes as much ew gross yes absolutely correct like you can say that and I agree to it so I am actually hopping on Amazon and I've been looking at all these motorized versions because I just there's gotta be a better way. Like there has got to be a better way. And normally I would just choose one option because it's, it's a truck, not an earthquake. Boy, New Yorkers, we have been through it. There's such a high probability that one of them won't be good or both of them. Um, so I don't wanna bore y'all, so I'm gonna have two options. This first one is $19.99, which I really like. It's multiple brushes at the same time, which I really, really, really like. But I am still being realistic that that's probably like not gonna be that good and it's just gonna swish the water around. I do get that I'm still gonna have to do something, but the 13 reviews seem promising. I even saw a video on it. Now the only reason why I'm thinking about this other one under it called Gola Key, regular standardized one, kind of like the mat that I have, but it's in a bowl so that you can control everything. And then it turns into like a dryer. Like you can hang your makeup brushes in it to dry. We're back and I have both of them. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So this is the more complicated one. This is made of silicone. So this would be that extra one that you would actually brush the brushes on um, instead of putting it in the motorized thing. Here is the system. Let's see how long the cord is. Not long at all. This is not even an arm's length. You gotta be near a wall. It says don't do more than five minutes and also don't do powder puffs and beauty eggs, which is unfortunate because I was hoping that I could put the egg in here. Then my brushes are supposed to fit in here, this little groove thing. I'm gonna sit it on top. Yep, sit it this way. It's not very sturdy, like it's, there's nothing to like tighten it. That's pretty much the first construction. The other one is the manual one and let's see how big this is. Oh, thank God, this is huge. I love this. You've got the handle. On the inside is a bunch of grooves similar to this other one. And that's what you're gonna be manually brushing against it. You could store stuff in here, so that's nice to put that in here. And then the brushes will hang from the bottom over here. So I like the idea of that. That's actually super cute and makes a lot of sense. And then it would just hang through there. Oh, that's pretty good speed. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, so this is what they recommended, which was to like go against the grain. I think I filled it up way too much. I think this is gonna overflow. So there's only one speed. How did I mess that up? In my eyes, I could see how this would not get clean. Okay, so I dumped out a bunch of water. Let's try again. Still dirty. I'm gonna show you an example of putting this inside and seeing what that does. One of these. Okay, so we've got three. Closing it. I think I actually would prefer to use this as the first step and then the scrubbing as the second step, especially knowing that the water is gonna get like frothy. I think these actually got cleaned off better. Now this one, you need like an anchor and even with the littlest amount of water, it's gonna splash. I think I like this a lot better. You scrub a little and then you rinse and then you do it again. And then you just keep going through that process.
And actually one negative with this is that it looks like this one, this one's pretty big. So this one would not fit in here. So I wouldn't be able to hang it, unfortunately. But the other ones are the same size and have a little bit more flexibility. So they could probably fit in here. Now having soaked these, in that soapy water, let's see how this rinses off, if any better. Mmm, nope. Well, still dirty, as you can see. Just want to also offer that both of these technically stain. I think this one would be harder to clean out. Here are my brushes the next day. I think these did really well. This guy, unfortunately, not gonna make it. Okay, how about a collective? What a shame. Yes, what a shame. But I learned some valuable lessons on this experiment. A stronger motor, which I thought I would want, would probably eat up my brushes. But we can't have too light of a motor because then it doesn't do anything. Like I was saying before, a pre-soak, cool. Like, that's actually a good idea. This is where I think me being active and swirling it around against the grooves at the bottom is where we're having some trouble here. <laughs> this just looks so funny. There's staining in the bottom. You can't hear it, see right there. So that would be double cleaning. And what did I say in the beginning of this video? I didn't wanna do much, cause it takes much for me to show up to clean my brushes. So while this is an interesting idea, I think that I actually could get a two for one here. I just still have to do the manual labor. I think I could soak the brushes for a bit. It would just sit like this on the end and then dump out the water and then get to scrub it and then rinse it, whatever. But I do find it fascinating that the original ones that I have, these are the things that I already owned for the past however many years. I think this is a collective like home goods type TJ Maxx thing. Don't really have that much um, staining, if at all. In general, maybe <laughs> this bright khaki color was not the best choice but I love this color it's cute so surprisingly I'm gonna say that this one is the winner in terms of all of these because of it being elevated because it's deep so I can get my scrubbing on I can also soak and then going further I can dry it now the only plus side that the other one had is that this was more of a looser rubber material so I could fit like the really big brushes in which for this one as you saw I could not do that but not the biggest fuss. And again, this was only $9. You might have just watched this video and been like, I'm not gonna go for either of those. Get back to the drawing board. I am going to clear out the bottom of this, wrap it up, because it's been 24 hours, and I am gonna aim for a refund. I hope I can get one. So this was a happen good time. Let's have a conversation down below. How are you washing your brushes? And this one, we gotta talk about it. Because sometimes I'm guilty myself of buying more brushes if there's a massive sale, like the Ulta sale going on right now. If you have a better way, comment down below because I want the process to be so much easier. I wanna show up for myself. I wanna show up for my face. So we wanna do all the things to make sure we're not gonna cause ourselves to break out anymore. We're not putting dirt and grime and bacteria and germs and all that consistently on our face. We wanna get better at that. How are you washing your makeup brushes? What's a hack that you have to make it easier? That was my video. Let's have a conversation. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.